What's up YouTube, Kelvin here. In today's video, I'm gonna take a look at how we can resize our virtual disks images when using VirtualBox. Now on the face of it, on the graphical user interface, there isn't a way to actually resize the images in VirtualBox. Uh, we do need to go through a few obstacles in order to do that, and that's what we're gonna to do today in this video. It's very useful because it saves you having to tear down a virtual machine if the storage gets full just to build another one or deleting things on the current one just to make room for whatever you want to install or use moving forward. So we'll start by having a look at the VirtualBox graphical user interface and we're going to specifically in this video focus on Windows 8.1 Lab 1. So I'm just going to start by clicking on settings and then we go down to storage and in here as you can see I've not got a disk attached to it because I've already removed it but let me just for the sake of this video I will reattach this virtual disk image okay cool so again go to storage and what you want to do is if you want to resize a specific virtual machine you need to go to your storage settings and remove the VDI that's currently in use my virtual disk size here is 25 gigabytes and I want to say let's turn it into 60 gigs so that's what we're going to do today let's just say for example um, so what you want to do is you want to remove the VDI from the virtual machine don't worry this won't delete it and just for the sakes of this video if you navigate to the folder where your virtual machines are actually stored in my case mine are here and you click on your virtual machine you can still see the virtual disk image is still stored so don't worry about that so once you've done that what you want to do is you want to open a command line and you also want to navigate to where VirtualBox is installed. So normally it'll be your C drive, program files, Oracle, and then VirtualBox. Right click on the address bar and click copy address. Once you've done that, go back to your CLI and type CD for change directory and then paste that address you've just copied. That will now change your directory and as you can see now we're in the VirtualBox directory here. So then what we want to do is going back to where your virtual machine is on the actual virtual machine where you want to change the disk storage. Again copy the address of that, we're going to need that soon. And then back to the CLI, what we want to do is we want to type the following. I will paste this and post this at the bottom in the description as well. You want to type VBOX manage dot exe space modify medium space quotations and then what we're going to do is we're going to paste in the location of the virtual machine. So I've done that in my case. And then what we want to do is to add to this forward slash. And then we're going to type Windows 8 or Win 8 in my case, 8.1 space lab one dot vdi quotation marks again so what you're doing here is you're going into you're going to modify um in this you're going to modify the disk in this directory wherever your uh, virtual machine is located and with a forward slash once we're in that directory we want to locate this file which in my case is win 8.1 space lab 1 dot vdi which is the disk image here which is what we're going to modify so once we've done that space on that 
and then we want to do two dashes and type resize and space again and let's just do sir uh, six zero nine nine just just 60 gig let's say we're going to resize that too and then go ahead and press enter and as we can see that was relatively quick so what this has done now is once you've seen this it means 100 percent it's been resized so now what you want to do is go back to the graphical user interface of virtual box navigate to the virtual machine that you've just resized click settings storage and just as we did at the start of the video we want to add the add disk so we're going to choose the existing disk and we're going to then add the VDI for that virtual machine and that's fine so as you can see here now the virtual size is changed to just under 60 gig as you can see now there is a few more things we're going to need to do um, in order to make that 60 gig usable so we'll just click OK for now and then what we'll do is we'll start this virtual machine so once your virtual machine has started up you need to then navigate to um, your disk partitions so create and format hard disk partitions click on that and you, I've got one open there already and what you can see there is I have already unallocated space here now so what we need to do to the C drive is we need to make this a little bit bigger to obviously make use of the size that we've um, created so we just want to extend volume right click on so we'll right click on C extend volume next and we're going to extend it to use all of it and finish and there you go we can see that we're using nearly 60 gig now which is um, what we want and so yeah that's how you simply restore um, or, or resize sorry the virtual disk images using um, that are using virtual box hopefully this video has been useful I mean I know for me because I lab a lot um, I'm already spinning up quite a lot of virtual machines and sometimes I just set storage that I don't think I'm going to need and then end up using a virtual machine for pretty much everything and then but before you know it the storage is full so being able to resize the VDIs without having to spin up a new virtual machine is very useful so yeah i hope you find it useful any questions drop me a comment below if you're not subscribed please do and thank you for watching